Greetings to another video. Today is the day Climb Portal on Zwift arrives. So basically what Climb Portal is, is going to be a way of us riding and accessing more climbs on Zwift. So today I'm going to like a little bit of a sneak peek to show you exactly what it's going to look like, what it's going to feel like. And yeah, today I'm going to be doing Col de Tourmalet, which is going to be part of the Women's Tour de France Femme Avec Zwift this year, which I'm going to be going out and riding. So this is going to be good practice. So the climb is going to be 17 kilometers, 7.3%, 1,280 meters. So you're going to access Climb Portal either through the France or the Watopia world. I just want to get on it. I want to see what it looks like. I'm estimating it's going to take me around an hour and a half. It's not, the, this climb is going to be the biggest climb in July and it's not as big as one top but it's bigger than Alpha Zwift. This is it! I guess we just start climbing. It is like an actual portal. Okay, so we've got, Zwift is nearby on the right but as you can see it's only me and that is because I have early access but generally, oh! So I was going to say, but when you're actually on this, when it's access to everybody, you'll see all the other riders nearby. Also, I really like the sections. So that's kind of like the Alp. I like that it's got the distance. Climb Bordel is the latest addition to Zwift, meaning lots more climbs, which I'm very happy about because I love, love, love climbing on Zwift. So you can access the portal in Watopia or France, and then you're transported to a selection of the world's most famous climbs, complete with all the inclines and all the switchbacks of the actual real climb itself. And it's a really good way to experience some of the most iconic climbs of the Tour de France Femme Avec Zwift, and of course the Tour de France. And maybe uh, there will be some others in the future, maybe, who knows. You can access it from the home screen on the Just Ride section, or you can go into route selection for Watopia or France, or specifically in July, there's gonna be a challenge card on the home screen. So the challenge, there's gonna be two different stages and each stage will have four different climbs ordered from least to most challenging. And to complete the challenge, all you need to do is complete one climb from each of the stages. I will leave details of the climbs going to be included in the challenge in the description, but they're all going to be Tour de France themes, such as Col de Aspen and Col de Tourmalet. So I am halfway, and judging by the elevation, the second half is going to be a lot steeper and a lot more climbing. So I've done 554, five, and there's still 664 six, to go. The things that I like about Climb Portal, the one main thing is visually is the different coloured road sections. So that is so good to be able to see up ahead where the steep sections are. And then when you're actually riding it, knowing which area, which sections you can actually like ease off a little bit. So that is really good for pacing. Also, I love all the stats. So I love that there's so many different statistics on the screen, like there is when you're climbing the Alp, for example. Also, which is a new thing for Climb Portal, is the, is the percentage bar on the bottom of the segment section, which tells you basically how far into the climb you are. Sometimes that was helpful, sometimes it put me off a little bit. I was like, no, I don't wanna know that I'm only like 15% into this climb, but it is good for pacing. Also, very good for pacing is the estimated finish time because that helped me so much. I didn't really know how long it was going to take me and then when I saw the estimated time it just made me and basically motivated me to kind of push a little bit harder to try and get that a little bit lower so that's really really good for motivation. Another thing that I really like are the I guess they like beacons for each of the um, start and end of each of the segments so as you're riding along you can actually see where the next one begins so that is mentally really really helpful on such a long climb to be able to have something to aim towards and just kind of keep breaking the climb up and i think climb portal is going to be a great addition for those that love climbing already but also for people that are wanting to get better at doing longer climbs so potentially if you're planning a holiday in the alps for example or you're going out to the tour de france and you want to ride some of the climbs it's a really good way of getting that practice in to know what the actual gradient's gonna feel like and being able to ride a climb that long. So I need to get some practice in because I'm gonna be riding this climb when we are out there to support the women racing. So it'll be really good just to, yeah, just to get used to how long it is and where the steeper sections are. I'm 
palette. <laughs> Thank you. I really like the different colour row so you know how steep it's going to be. That it almost helps and then sometimes I was like, no, there's another red one which means it's going to be steep. But visually, like really good just to keep your mind active with what's actually going on. The one thing I actually missed from this is just other riders, but that's not going to be like that for when you ride it because there's going to be loads of people on there. But yeah, I just and that's the thing that I like about Zwift is the community. That's the whole thing of what Zwift is, is the community. So I kind of miss having people on the climb with me. I'm going to leave a link below so you can find out more details and all the different stages and the different climbs involved in that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.